What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the difference between a data engineer versus a data analyst. Now, in this video, we are gonna be going over four main categories, the responsibilities, qualifications, skills, and salary of both the data engineer and the data analyst. And then at the very end, we're gonna talk about which job may be right for you. Now, let's jump right into it with responsibilities and let's start off with the data engineer. The first thing that the data engineer is going to be responsible for is developing and maintaining data pipelines. Now, if you don't know what a data pipeline or an ETL pipeline is, is basically an automated process to get the data into your databases from a source. The data engineer writes all the code to develop that process, but they also need to maintain that process. And so if something breaks down the line, they're gonna be the ones that need to go in, figure out what's wrong and fix it to make sure that the data is coming in properly. Another thing that data engineers do is ensure the data accuracy and quality. And this is not something that they need to do just one time. This is something that they need to do as long as they're getting data from that source. Now it would be near impossible to check every single data source manually, either daily, weekly, or monthly. And so typically they're gonna set up some type of monitoring system that checks the data and sends them a flag if anything looks off. And one of the other big things that data engineers do is they design, develop, and maintain database architecture. Now, as part of the ETL process, they need to extract the data, transform the data, and then load that data somewhere. And typically that's gonna be a database, a data warehouse, or a data lake. And so before that data is loaded, some type of database and table schema needs to be created in order to store that data properly. So let's move on to the data analyst. A data analyst is gonna use static data to both describe the data and gain insights. So the data engineer is gonna create an automated process that pulls that data in and stores it. And then the data analyst is gonna go and pick that data up wherever they stored it, and they can use that for their further processes. Now, the next thing that a data analyst does is ensures data acquisition and maintenance. Now, I think this is one of the biggest things that people miss in the data analyst job description. Oftentimes, you're gonna be doing data acquisition as well, but it's not acting as a data engineer. You're not creating the automated process, but you may be working directly with a client to better understand their data at the source, and then mapping the data from the source into your target databases on your side. And this is called data mapping. And it needs to be done because typically your client is not going to format things or keep things in the same columns as you would in your database. So when you're taking a table from the source, you are gonna tell each column exactly where it's supposed to go in your database. The very last thing for a data analyst is you're gonna create dashboards and reports. And this is no surprise. I think this is what a lot of people think of when they think data analysts. You're gonna be creating dashboards that include all of your insights and KPIs that your company wants to see and track. And you're also gonna be creating reports, whether those are internal or go out to clients that give them information or give your team information that they can use and act on. Now let's move on to qualifications and let's start off with the data engineer. Almost every single job that you'll find for data engineering, you will need a bachelor's degree for, even some you're gonna need a master's. And some of the degrees that are highly recommended are degrees in computer science, statistics, applied mathematics, and computer engineering. For a data analyst, it is somewhat similar. A lot of jobs are gonna require a bachelor's degree. Some are even gonna require a master's degree, typically at larger companies. Some really good degrees for data analysts to get are degrees in computer science, statistics, mathematics, economics, and finance. Now, when I was doing my research for this, I found that a lot of data engineering jobs were requiring a very technical degree. And I think that's because this job is much more technical than a data analyst position. And so they didn't care as much about the domain knowledge as much as they did the technical side of things. Whereas with the data analyst, a lot of jobs preferred the technical degrees, but they were more than willing to accept some type of domain degree, like a finance degree or an economics degree, as long as you have the right skill set. Now let's look at the skills section and let's start off with the data engineer. Some of the skills that you'll need to know are SQL and NoSQL. And if you don't know what NoSQL is, it is kind of like SQL, except you can store unstructured and semi-structured data in it. A few other skills that you'll need to know are things like Hadoop, Java and Python, and within Python, you'll need to know things like Pandas and Airflow, for example. You'll also need to know Apache Kafka and Apache Spark, as well as Hive, and then some type of cloud platform like AWS or Azure. So for the data analyst, you're gonna to need to know things like SQL, R and Python, and within Python, you might need to know things like Pandas, NumPy, and Matplotlib. You'll also need to know some type of data viz tool like Tableau or Power BI. You'll need to know how to do data modeling. You may also need to know SAS or SPSS, Excel, and then some type of cloud platform like AWS or Azure. When I look at these two skill sets, the first thing that jumps out to me is that the data engineer is a lot more technical. They're gonna to need to know several programming languages very in depth in order to get their job done efficiently, where the data analyst may only need to know one like R or Python, or they may not need to know one at all if their company doesn't use one of those. Now let's move on to the salary section. Let's start off with the data engineer. 
For an entry-level job, you can be looking at anywhere from 55 to 80,000. For a mid-level, anything from 80 to 120,000. And then for a senior level, you can look at 120 to 150,000. For a data analyst for an entry-level job, you can be expecting anywhere from 45 to 65,000. For a mid-level job, anywhere from 65 to 85,000. And then for a senior level job, anywhere from 85 to 110,000. As you can tell, the data engineer is gonna make a little bit more money at each level. And that's probably due to the technical requirements that you're gonna need in order to become a data engineer versus a data analyst. Now, who do I think these jobs are for? I think the data engineer is gonna fit really nicely with somebody who has a technical background, as well as somebody who absolutely loves databases and building databases. So if you know a lot of programming languages and you love building and designing databases, this job might be a perfect job for you. For the data analyst, I think it's gonna be somebody who's very curious and likes to solve problems. They're gonna enjoy digging into the data to find trends and patterns and then visualize those trends and patterns that they found. The data analyst job is also gonna be a little bit more entry level or beginner friendly for people who are trying to get their foot in the door in the data world. So there you have it. That is the difference between a data engineer and a data analyst. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope that they gave you some type of insight into what you may want to become in the future for your career. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.